Hello, it's Vinny here. Today, I'd like to talk about the trade that I did last week, which is um, gold. Uh, not, it's not only about talking about the trade. I want to share with you how um, this trade is being formulated. Uh, it's, um, I think more important is, I think you know, it's done using TOR strategy. But uh, I've used one indicator, which is a divergence indicator to show, to let me know there is a trend continuation. Uh, I mean, a lot of you know that trend is your friend, but then how do you find your friend? How do you find a trend? So um, while indicator is lagging, it does help us, you know, fairly into identifying uh, trend continuation. All right. So the good thing is that indicator is free of charge. I've developed that. You can just put it into your MetaTrader 4 or you can just use a generic uh, chart platform to show you that indicator. All right. So first, before I talk about the trade, which is on gold, right, let me just explain more into what is uh, hidden divergence because hidden divergence is a very useful tool to find uh, trend continuation what about the concept of hidden divergence generally there are two types of uh, divergence concept one is a classical divergence which is more popular and more commonly known uh, the other one is a hidden divergence okay so for classical divergence it is to show mainly reversal but for hidden divergence is to show trend continuation all right, so um, let's take a look at this chart here where we're going to talk about the trend continu continuation. If you're going to have a downtrend movement here, all right, that price is making a lower high, then your indicator is likely going to show a higher high at the point of a uh, divergence. All right, so with the higher high, it says that the lower high that you're seeing in price is likely to be a trend continuation. All right, when you have an uptrend, then you're going to have a Higher low, all right, but your indicator is going to make a lower low. So with this lower low, it says that the corresponding higher low is likely to be a trend continuation. So as long as price continue to move up, you are likely going to see a lower low being made in your indicator in a situation of a hidden bullish divergence. So this is a chart on gold as usual. You're going to find colors, right, which is something that I like. So I color code my chart. So at the bottom panel here is the divergence indicator I mentioned. So you can download from the link uh, at the bottom, which I put up. Um, well, when you click on the link, so remember to click on the subscribe button, all right? Um, because by subscribing, you'll be updated, you know, um, whenever I post a new video. Okay, so I like to post videos on the tricks that I did as well as, you know, educational content. Now, so take, take, take a look into this chart here. Right, um, at this point where uh, there is a down move here, that means that you're going to see a high at, at this place here. So that's a high, all right, and then price make actually a low. Okay, now when it goes up, if you compare this high to this particular previous high, so let me just mark this as one and then mark this as two, right, then you know that this is a lower high. Okay, so price make a lower low and then make a lower high around here. So at the point of trading, you wouldn't know that this is likely to be a lower high. You wouldn't know that this is likely going to be a hidden bearish divergence. All right, that means a trend continuation. But if you take a look at the indicator here, what it does is that it map in this uh, down arrow. Okay, so this down arrow and of course, if you put your mouse near here and then click on it, you should see this hidden bearish divergence pop up here, right? So we know that as price moves down to make a lower high, the indicator is making a higher high. So uh, we had an earlier warning already to know that this is a potential trend continuation. So what we need to do is we need to wait for the trigger to happen, meaning that you can't just be trading uh, on a uh, divergence without having a price confirmation. So what is a divergence? Divergence is just like your thunder and lightning. Okay, it's a warning. But to know that it really rain, you need to feel and see rain drop. All right. So even with thunder and lightning, you know, the rain clouds can pass and you might not get rain. Same thing with divergence, you need to have price action. And how do I trade that? Of course, using TOR strategy. I will be talking about the uh, trigger because uh, uh, currently the TOR strategy is under this promotion where you do get your full cost feedback, meaning that 
when you pay for the course fee, you do get whatever that you paid back. So rather than to speculate and guess what is my trigger and how I enter at that, may as well actually go for the course and get your full course fee back and is that's equal to like a free course, isn't it? Right, but generally the idea is that I've actually traded somewhere around here and then price is still moving downwards, okay? The nice thing is that, I mean, not warning, but alerts on my trades uh, from the dashboard, which you can see on the screen. So I was notified about this trade. So I remember the pattern. Hey, look, you know, I can see a bearish hidden divergence with a typical tall uh, trigger and I put in the trade. All right, so I put in the trade and just leave it there. And today it's actually moving very much in my favor here. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, remember to subscribe.